Hi everyone, welcome to another question on simple interest. In this question, I am given a person invested a total amount of 15 lakhs. So I have a total of 15 lakhs. A part of it was invested in a fixed deposit earning 6%. So there was some money out of this 15 lakhs which was invested at 6% and the remaining amount was invested in two other deposits in the ratio of 2 is to 1 earning 4% and 3%. So some money went at 4% and some money went at 3%. Now we do not know what the overall ratio is but what we do know is that the ratio between these two is 2 is to 1. So let's say 2x was invested here and x was invested here. This was the amount that was invested. If the total annual interest income is 76,000 rupees, that means the interest that you will get from here, which is the FD, the plus the interest that you get from here, plus the interest that you get from here is a total of 76,000. And now we need to, I'm assuming, find out the various amounts and stuff. Now the idea is, we do not know how we are going to split this money. So what we are going to do is we are going to assume some values. What I've assumed is at 3% was X, at 4% was 2X. That means in the FD, which was the remaining amount, will be total minus 3X. So that my total comes out to be 15 lakhs. Now another thing, another very common mistake that people make in these type of questions is this is in lakhs, whereas my total results uh, my total interest is 76,000. So there might be some calculation mistakes that might happen if you don't keep the units same. So either we keep the entire units in lakhs and convert this to 0.76 lakhs and calculate or we convert it everything to thousands so that my calculations are easier. I think it will be easier to calculate in thousands versus decimals. So now what I'm going to do is for the rest of the question, I'm considering everything in thousands, which means my total interest was 76,000. The total money borrowed was not 15 lakhs, but 1,500,000. ,000. So what is 15 lakhs? 1 lakh is 100,000. So 15 lakh is 1,500,000, ,000, which means I take my total amount initial as 1,500. So this is 1,500,000 ,000 minus 3x, which went in FD, 2x thousand, went uh, at 4% and X thousand went at 3%. Now let's see what are my returns. 6% of 1500 is 90. 6% of 3X is minus 0.18X. 4% of 2X is 0.08X and 3% of X is 0.03X. And we know that this grand total is coming out to be 76,000. So now we can calculate the total should be 76. Let me add it all up. What is this total? This is 90. So this is 0.18x, 0.08x, 0.03x, 08 and 03 will become 0.11x. 0.18x minus 0.11x, 18 minus 11 is 7. So this is 0.07x, which is given to me as 76. So this gives me the value as 0.07x if it goes to the other side is 90 minus 76 or 14 or I get the value of x as 14 by 0.07. Now 14 by 7 would have been 2 since it is 14 by 0.07 this would be 2 followed by two zeros because there are two decimal places here. So x is 200 which means that what is the amount invested? So X is 200,000, 2 lakhs was invested at 3%. Double of that is 4 lakhs was invested at 4%. So when 2 lakh and 4 lakh are gone, 6 lakh are gone. That means in the FD, how much was invested? 15 minus 6 lakhs or 15 minus 15 minus 6 lakhs or 9 lakhs was invested in the fixed deposit. So that will be my answer. Hope you learned something from this video. Thank you. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get notifications of future videos.